Hey, it's Yaz and Tanris here, and we are at the premiere of Mary Poppins Returns. We're so excited to have her back. It's been since 1964 that she hasn't made an appearance, and it's played by Emily Blunt. We are Fab TV. Check out all the interviews on our website, fabtv.com. <laughs> Absolutely popping, right? <laughs> um, so you produced the movie. Tell us, what was it like producing Mary Poppins Returns after having to, you know, do a sequel to such a phenomenal stick, like staple to our world? We all love the original film so much and have such a high regard for it that I think we felt that we were the guardians of protecting what was wonderful about it in a way that enabled us to have confidence to create our own version of the film. Um, uh, but I, I, it, it was from the very beginning, because of that love of the original, a very joyful experience for everyone involved. We all felt a sense of purpose. Uh, we wanted to be our best and deliver our best. And it was joyful from, from the beginning to the end. Was it important to you to have not just, well, is a follow-up from the first movie, but also the books itself? because. The author, she was a little bit adamant against the musical aspect, but why was it important to co keep that aspect in the sequel? Well, we're, we all know Mary Poppins is a world of music now, beyond P.L. Travers' fantastic books, so it felt like we had to deliver on that promise because music has no filter, it sweeps us up, and the film is about hope and possibility and that anything is possible. There's no cynicism to it, and music can accomplish things in our hearts that sometimes words themselves can't.